In this presentation, you will learn how to solve the copywriting case study in the TY BAMMC board exam. There are four basic questions that are asked in the case study. The first one, prepare a creative brief for making an impact on the target audience, which carries four marks. The second question is message strategy, which carries two marks. The third is create a press ad campaign based on the creative brief where you prepare two ads for four marks. And the last question is prepare a storyboard for television commercials based on the creative brief, which is for five marks. So in total, the case study carries 15 marks. Let's answer it. So we'll start with our first question, which relates to the creative brief. When you're introducing your creative brief, you'll start with the ad agency profile. The name of the agency can be imaginary. The contact number can be imaginary. And so can the email address also be imaginary. The project summary is one of the easiest things you can do. You need to summarize the case that is already given to you. So you will write the question in short. Explain your target audience. We've studied demographic profiles, psychographic profiles. So explain both demographic and psychographic in detail. Then we focus on your key message. So what are you trying to say through your case study? I suggest making two catchy taglines or slogans that are relevant to the topic that is given to you. After that, you mention the key benefits key benefits for the consumers as well as for the company. So we need to understand that by advertising, okay, our creative brief can reach both the consumers and the company. Definitely focus more on consumers, but you can also mention a few points on benefits for the company. Communication strategy, we all know that we use certain vehicles. You will be asked to use certain vehicles in your paper itself. So your advertising where you will advertise this particular product. Desired message tone is something you need to work on. So you need to decide what appeal works for works as best in the case that you have. Now, ideally select two feelings. So for example, joy and surprise. Your project timeline, as I mentioned in previous case studies also, should be about two months to 30 days. And the budget should range between two to three crores. And the maximum ideally you take is five crores. Okay, but you also take into consideration the communication strategy you are using. So two to three crores usually works fine. We then move to the second question, which is about message strategy. Now you explain the appropriate appeals that you mentioned earlier. We, I said you can choose two. So explain why you chose those two appeals. And as we've studied in consumer behavior, there are four appeals. So you can choose a combination of any two. There are also three message execution styles. So choose a combination of any two. Results of use experience, product in use experience, or incidental to use experience. Now, whether you're doing a print ad, you're doing a radio spot or writing a storyboard depends on what is asked in the case study. The best thing to do is to ask yourself four basic questions. Who is buying the product? Where is the product sold? Where the product is used? And product is used for what purpose? If you answer those four questions, you will be able to prepare your write up for whichever topic you're working on. So even if you're working on the jingle, you're working on a print ad, radio spot, or you're writing the storyboard, your script will come easily if you can answer the four questions. Okay, our next step is to create two print ads as per our question. So we don't have to actually create a print ad. I've put one down for you just to give you some samples, but you don't need to do a descriptive one. You can just write what is in the visual. So you describe the visuals on paper in a box. Okay, like it's mentioned here. And at the end, you can write maybe logo of Sapola, 
this is an example of Sephora. So you can have, say for example, two housewives between a certain age group, dressed in a particular way, standing at a shelf which is displaying Sephora. Just a sample. We then move on to storyboard. Again, no drawings required for a storyboard. So you just need to put down whatever you think is relevant. You can write both in English or Hindi, but the script is not Devanagari, but English script. The format. Now, if you put down each frame equals to five seconds, then in six frames, you have 30 seconds. Okay. So that's easier for you to do, or you can make a separate column mentioning five seconds in each of the rows. Frame one, describe the visuals. What is the script that is going to be spoken? And if there's any sound effect, mention that in the last column. After you've finished all this, just write two lines as a conclusion and your case study is done. I hope it was easy to understand. Wish you all the best. Do well in your exam.